that summer fun is so nice yeah. while it lasts, but of <laughs> course, inevitably, late August arrives and it is time to get back to school and back on a schedule. Yeah, can't last forever, right? <laughs> News 8's Sarah Cody shares some tips. This summer has been a free for all. Which means it was a whole lot of fun. My favorite part of this summer was going to the beach a lot. But parenting blogger and podcaster Caitlin Houston is looking forward to getting her daughters back on schedule. We're craving some organization in our life. We're looking for some routine again and some structure. This Wallingford family begins with bedtime. All right, everybody, at this time every single night, we're going to do our routine, and then it's quiet time in your rooms. Then mornings revolve around this personalized chart with notes that are specific to each child. I like it. The girls are encouraged to speak up and tweak the plan themselves. I feel like I want to pack my lunch maybe sometimes at night time instead of in the morning. Any of those we'll call them executive functioning skills that they can take on earlier in life, it'll help them later on in life. Dr. Ryan Loss is a clinical psychologist with Connecticut Behavioral Health in Cheshire. He says parents should support students in creating good homework habits. A little downtime. Get a snack in you because that'll help power your brain, empower your energy, and then block off a certain period of time. I just like the feeling of knowing what we're going to do every single day versus this playing cruise director all summer. Full means healthy growth and change. Making new friends and also like doing all the classes and stuff yeah. and meeting my teacher. A time to reflect on sweet summers and to look forward to a productive year at school. Good luck to all moms out there, dads. Good luck to kids and try to go to bed early before the first day of school so it's not a shock when you have to wake up that first day. In Wallingford, Sarah Cody, News 8. Some great tips there and cute kids for sure. Parents and students everywhere are real excited for the start of the new school year. And our team here at News 8 wants to share the experience with you. So be sure to send in your photos of your first day back. It's easy. We have a link for you on our website, WTNH.com, or you can email them to it, us at reportit at WTNH.com. And then you could see your photos right here on air.